We are here at Palace Station in Las Vegas to attend the Las Vegas Numismatic Society 49th Annual Coin Show. Although coins are not, no longer used in slot machines in Las Vegas, I still think Las Vegas is a great site for a coin show. Well, look at this room. It is packed with people. It is Saturday. And there are coin dealers, I'm told, from across the United States that come here. <laughs> It is a big deal. Barry Furman has uh, a business buying and selling coins, paper, money, etc. He has no store. He appears at a lot of shows uh, here and in California. And he, he appears at gun shows too, he says. And his reputation, he said, I have a good reputation and people contact me. So that's Barry. This is an exhibit of Coronado Coin and Diamond, and they um, come to a number of coin shows here and in California with coins and jewelry. And I know I heard just heard one of the salespeople talk about estate jewelry, um, as well as uh, I think this is probably new stuff here. But anyway, I didn't expect to see jewelry at a coin show, but of course, of course, I have. Wow. Here's something interesting. It's a bag in a case that says something silver from the Binion Estate. And here is more jewelry, although these are look like vintage watches. As I was walking through the coin show, I could hear a lady say, Someday I need to find out what our Mickey Mouse watch is worth. I talked to the man who is running this, but that's okay, that's running this particular exhibit. And he's got lots of stuff. I mean, lots of things and some, some medals I've never even heard of. He works uh, from home and goes to shows on weekends. He brings anywhere from 1,300 to 3,000 pounds of material to these shows. He drives out in a big truck, he and another man who also exhibits, and uh, he likes doing business that way. He has no problems with landlords, licenses, etc. So here he is at the show, and uh, apparently he does quite well. This show not only features coins, but actual bills, some of which are quite unusual looking. I asked the man who was here uh, what the prices, price range would be for the bills they have, and he said anywhere from $5 to $30,000. These are the folks from Coinshop.com, an online service that sells coins. Uh, coin dealers will send them coins to sell, and they will either sell them directly or in auction. And they're giving away t-shirts, and that has become very popular. This looks like almost a department store of items that you can use to display your coins or save them and make sure they're always in pristine condition. And here we have a coin dealer from Chicago, Illinois, who tells me they're on the road like 20 weekends a year at coin shows and um, dealing with the adults. He said the kid ma kids market is waning, but the adults are still collecting. Usually the more expensive coins, by the way. This collection includes coins from 150 different countries. I finally found someone who has a store in Las Vegas. This is Mike Hooper. Mike, where is your store? Our store is in the heart of somewhere on Sun City Boulevard at Del Webb and Sun City Boulevard. And and who are your customers? Our customers, they come all over the whole valley. Um, we have customers, dealers like this gentleman here, um, and, and uh, just people that live in the neighborhoods, collectors, that type of thing. Okay, are they mostly adults? 
groups of children. I heard one person talk Mostly about Mostly adults, but we do have children. And when the children come in, they get a free coin. Ah, okay. And here are some of the coins you have here. How is how is a show like this for you? This has been a good show for us, I think. I mean, do you sell things or sell, buy things or what? buy and sell, both here. Okay, all right. Well, thank God I found a local person <laughs> at the show who actually has a store. Thank okay. you. Well, thank you. Well, here's a display case with a sale going on, and some of these coins, I don't know how good my video will be, are quite small and quite old with prices like $85, $300, $120, etc. Um, 221 AD, my goodness, it's surprising that these have survived all these years. Well, it's time to leave the coin show. As one of my interview subjects said, there's a lot of money in this room. Indeed, there is. And a lot of people from all over the West and some Midwest as well. Coin shows can be very interesting, I'm finding. So I'm glad I was here.